Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to take the dash out of a 97 to 2004 C5 Corvette. That is the fifth generation Corvette, for those of you that are unaware. And like I said, that runs from 1997 to 2004. So, what we're gonna do first is take this dash cover off. And eventually, we will hopefully be adding a heads up display to our 97 that does not have one. And I'll show you guys that process in another video. But today I'm just gonna show you how to get the dash out, out, completely out. So let's start. So to begin this process, we're gonna start here at the center console. Ours happens to be broken, so we can just lift that off. Um, that's gonna get fixed eventually, along with our glove box keys broken. <laughs> so we'll set that over there, and some broken plastics of sorts. Set those over here as well. This goes to the dash cam, so that's what that is. Anyhow, the first step is we need to remove these, so you may need to get a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and just pop those off. Just like so. And then those are out of the way. Then we need to get a 10 millimeter socket, which I have one right here. And we're going to put an extension on there, so we're going to drop that in there. And that grab our wrench and loosen these two bolts and then we'll move our Torx bits there over to this side and we need to pop this off which reveals two more 10 millimeter bolts and we'll want to unplug this plug here too which is always there we go let's remove that now that's out of the way we'll get back to these bolts take all four of those off and then we'll get to the next step so now that we've got those off we're just going to slide this guy back and what that will do for us is get this free and since we have a couple wires ran through ours I am going to just leave it over here, but I'm going to unplug that plug right there, which is for the gas, gas cap, the lid. Here's a better view of the plug for the gas release the lid. Boom. So it does just slide right out and then we can set that down here off to the side, just like that. Now it'll be out of the way. We still have the dash cord and our sub knob on there, cords on there, which we can we can undo those right there. And however, we'd have to run this one all the way back down and throughout the whole thing. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. But now we can release, set this out of the way. Now we can work on getting the stereo piece out. And there's going to be a Torx right there, which is a T15. So if we grab one of those, we have a bigger one here. Now you'll have to probably use a little screwdriver to pop off the cover that's supposed to be there. Again, ours is broken. And honestly, this plastic is just, it just got old and brutal. So after being removed for putting stereos in and stuff like that, it just, it went bad real quick on us. So... We'll get that screw out and then we'll be able to get the rest of these screws. So there are some screws back in here that we'll have to re remove. So we need to pull this little cover out and that reveals one that's supposed to be right there. It is not. 
and then you guys can hopefully see that one right there this that's there too I don't think it's actually connected though looks like it's broken free so you'll need to get that screw and that one if you have it out but it looks like ours is honestly just gonna pull right off yeah it does so that just pulls up pull the e-brake lever up that'll give you some room then you'll be able to i guess you need to get the key we need to go grab the key put it in and then move our shifter down and then this piece will come off all right so now we have the key in here in the ignition we can stick our fob through got that hole and we'll lift this up now be ready because oh apparently ours is not connected that outlet is not connected so yours will be and you'll have to pull this little clip off ours happen to already be off for uh i don't, I don't know why <laughs> i don't know why guys anyhow we're gonna take this whole thing and it has the screw that at least the one screw you can see the r's are definitely just broken and left in here so i'll take those out and put them in there we're gonna set that guy right in the back for now as well we'll call it good now we have access to most of what we need let's go ahead and turn the car off by put it back in gear boom there we go she's ready let's rock and roll right, so for our next thing we're gonna need a you may not even need it but a flathead screwdriver to pry your trunk slash fog light if you have those little assembly out and then we're going to un disconnect this clip so push that back in there and that reveals another Torx head up there so I'm gonna set my trunk button aside and I've got a T15 bit in my little screwdriver here because this makes it easier we'll take that out that one's out we are going to let's see if I can show you there is a, another Torx right here and right here right above our dash so we're gonna go ahead and pull those two out you may need here we go you may need an extension for this I'll be keeping track of which bolts go where that way we don't lose any or misplace them let's go ahead and get this guy out and then we'll move to the next one all right so now it's gonna have us remove this piece from the dash and these are supposed to be t15s as well however mine are not there's two of them one here and one there so mine are a 9 right there and right here honestly it's i got it loose enough already i can just do it by hand so hopefully yours are right <laughs> So now what that will allow us to do is pull on this bottom and then the top and just pull it straight out. And we have to watch out because we have cords connected to ours and it looks like something over here is hung up. No. So these are for some LEDs that were installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this electrical tape and uh, get this guy completely free. So for reference for myself later, the red that's showing is the bottom, and the dark blue goes on the bottom, and then the same thing here, dark blue is the bottom post 
of these switches. That's just for myself later. You guys might have something similar, who knows. I didn't install these. They were actually installed when I bought the car back in 2017. It's kind of crazy, but there we go. We got that piece out, time to do the next one. All right, the next thing is to take out the stereo. However, ours, again, does not have the right screws in there. They should be a T15, the one right here, and the one right over here. Ours are the 930 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and pull both those out and then we'll completely disconnect the stereo and set it aside too. Because we need to reach the hazard button and unplug it. All right, so now our stereo is coming out. We're gonna gently wiggle this guy out. The wires are pretty tight back in here, so gotta just be careful with it. Something's holding it up. Let me let me figure it out. Ah, there we go. So the RCA cables, but mainly the stereo antenna is what was holding us up. That guy right there is he's really tight for some reason. So I'm gonna see if I can untangle that back there. And we're just gonna unplug the stereo from here. That's unplugged. Unplug the RCAs. That's good. And now our deck is free and we can set it back here out of the way as well now we'll be ready all right so with the stereo out now we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver up here and just gently pry that out just like that that was super easy and now there's a sensor over here and we need to twist it off just like that and we'll take our grill, set it in the back. Now, there should be two bolts in there. Looks like there's one right there. And then there should be another one right there. And those are both seven millimeter. So we're gonna undo those two. So if you got a quarter inch ratchet that would work best however you can get it with an adapter for a uh, 3 8 so we'll go over to this corner now and do that same thing this is very hard to see it so you just kind of go by feel let's see if i can get that on there Burns you free with the ratchet. So now we're gonna pull off the pillars from both sides and you just, I just got my finger under there was able to pry it. And then I'll pull it without knocking myself out out just like that that's free and like everything else we're just gonna stick it in the back so I need to do it to that side too stick your finger right there and just pull it out out and up boom perfect all right so now that we got both those pillars off there is one bolt there also a seven millimeter and then there's one on the other side we'll go over there and I'll show you that one I'm gonna get this one broke free and again it's very tight very tight but we'll get it we'll get it off there this is a good bolt to use a swivel on so you can really get in there i got an extension i'm just turning this thing by hand now that it's broke free but it's hard to do with your fingers in there so just a helpful tip we'll get the other side and show you where that one is too so over on the passenger side it is in the same location i mean obviously it's the passenger side but hey you know what i meant so we're gonna break that free again using the swivel and a seven millimeter socket so we have another seven millimeter here on the passenger side this is the door if you need to you can open it all the way we're just gonna put our swivel on here too which honestly i don't think we need to that one wasn't very tight at all 
actually just get it with my hand. So go ahead and get that one out and then I'll show you guys the rest. All right, so for the rest of the seven millimeter bolts, we have one right down here, one here, and you should have one here. <laughs> and again, like our story goes, we don't have one there, that's okay. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. <laughs> All right, so we have one last one on the dash right here on the driver's side. I believe this is our last one and we'll be home free. All right, before we can get the dash out, we have two covers inside the glove box. So go ahead and open your glove box. And there are going to be two clover covers, clover, clovers. Hold on, Bubba. Two seconds. One here that opens a 10 millimeter and one there that opens 10 millimeter. All right, so with our 10 millimeter on here and an extra long extension, I believe that our bolt has come free. I'm gonna try and reach my finger back here and just pop it off of there. And then it should just drop straight down and be free and then we'll do that same thing to this one here. Just like that. All right. Just when you thought we were about close, <laughs> I was wrong. There's one, two, three, four more seven millimeter bolts. And we'll go ahead and get those out. And then we'll pull the entire glove box out. So let me get those broke free. And then I'll show you pulling the glove box out. All right. So now the glove box will fall out. We have one cord to pull one plug to unplug right there which looks to be a push in oh hey no i have two hands so we can there we go push and pull and there we have a glove box pulled out now i'm gonna set that back there and I think we'll be ready for the dash, I think. Right, I'm gonna show you guys. I just grabbed here, pulled it, and it it looks and seems to be pretty loose. There are a couple pins that sound like they pop out, but now I'm gonna go to the driver's side and pull on that side too. And we should have a dash out of the quarter. So here we go. Seems to be coming out, but now, before we get too far, this is where we want to reach up in here and unplug the hazard switch so you can see right there you just got to push that in and that plug should come out now oh i just pushed it back in let me set the camera down and get that plug out there we go i used the flathead to push that tab in and then it popped right out now our dash should be completely free I'm gonna double check make sure there's nothing else holding us up Feels like it's coming out nice and easy. It's just difficult one-handed, so let me sit you guys down and try and do this. Why don't you guys sit right back there? There we go. We got a Corvette dash out of the car. <laughs> Whew. Well. There we go guys, it, it would took a little bit, but we now have the dash out of the Corvette and we will be showing you hopefully, hopefully very soon. We'll show you guys how to install a HUD into a pre 99 Corvette. This is a 97, you can install it, but you need a bunch of stuff. And we'll cover that in the next video when we do that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the family channel, Arctic Vet Family. Subscribe there as well. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers over there. So head over there, check it out. And we will catch you in another vlog. Have a great night and God bless. We got a big mess to clean up. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got a fix of you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.